Uh, my name is Chinu, uh, Chinu Muther, uh, 19 years old. Uh, when I was born, I had a, uh, a tumor. It blocked my airway. It was in, on the right side of my, my neck. The adoption agency takes care of uh, uh, kids who have uh, who are unhealthy and uh, who have ailments who can't be adopted, more or less, or unlikely to be adopted. Let's talk about your uh, your adopted parents. Your your parent. I mean, it's just calling your parents. I mean, that's who you've known <laughs> your entire life. Um, they sound like really uh, really great people. Yeah, I don't lie when I say this, but they are the kindest people that I think I've ever met in my life. Um, I try to create a, like a, um, a vision in my head if I hadn't uh, been given this life. Um, speaking a different language, I could be working to survive. Um, who knows what I could be what, what I could be doing? I could probably be dead. If I'm not knowing. Ever since that day uh, in Korea when we went, took a trip, a motherland trip this past summer, um, I've been thinking about her a lot. Um, I had the chance to learn about her. Um, but at the time, it was almost, it was very hard, almost impossible to go see her. Uh, that struck me really hard. Happy. I was happy to know that she was alive. She has a family, but uh, angry that I couldn't couldn't go see her, and sad that um, yeah, and sad at the same time. Uh, she's also in a state that's uh, not very good. Not that I thought she would be in. Um, at least she's you know I'm happy that she's at least alive. I do want to go back and I want to uh, learn more about my my past. And, um, my roots, more or less, and see how she is. What if I look like her too as well, let's say. What do you think you would say to her if you had a chance to, to look at her face to face? Um, what happened? Um, why? Almost kind of way. Yeah, I would ask her, you know, what happened? Uh, what's your side of the story? I hope she's fine. Uh, and then hopefully, you know, can we start, can we start over? What do you think of when you look in the mirror and you, and you see the scar, like, today? I think of... I think about the present, where I am right now, and then I also think of uh, in the past, what could have happened if uh, had this gone wrong. And I think about uh, uh, I think about oh, my birth mother at the same time. Yeah. So it's a constant reminder. It's a constant reminder. I don't think I remember. I used to want to get rid of it. I used to talk about my mother to my mother. Um, uh, I wanted to get rid of it, getting it stitched up. But now it's uh, used to be almost like a weight on me, almost for some reason. I don't know why. But now it feels, you know, yeah, this is uh, not a curse, but it's more of like a gift almost, kind of feel. But it's a cool scar, too. People ask about it a lot. And I'll be like, well, then I tell them my whole life story. <laughs>